Hello friends and subscribers, welcome to episode 3 of our weekend escape to San Francisco. For the final episode, we will share with you our experience touring the island of Alcatraz. Hey guys, we are on our day two here in San Francisco. We're on our way to do the Bay Cruise. We're actually walking towards a ferry building to catch a bus or something. I'll take us there, about 15 minute ride. And uh, we'll show you guys once we get to that location. Oh, look at that, cool shops. Nice. Look at that, nice painting. That's awesome. Somebody's making some video out here. Let's check it out. Just purchasing our tickets. <laughs> We're waiting for our bus. Hi. Hi, mommy. Hi, Abby. Hi, guys. Where are we going, Abby? <laughs> We're waiting for our train. Year 33. Yep. For our bakers. Awesome. Okay, this is where we're gonna catch our ferry year 33 for the Bay Cruise Alcatraz Landing. This is where we're heading guys. We are now in Pier 33. Since we still have time, we checked out this beautiful scale to size model of the island of Alcatraz. Visitors are encouraged to stop by the model before embarking on the tour to gain perspective and knowledge of the island's many areas of interest.
Do you guys know it took 19 months to create this model and every 15 months or so, they pulled the model off the landing for spot refurbishment. We originally purchased tickets for San Francisco Bay Cruise, but unfortunately, there was an issue with the boat, so we decided to switch to Alcatraz Island Day Tour, which takes about 2 to 3 hours. The trip over to Alcatraz Island is 12 to 15 minutes each way. Looking forward to this! Bye, honey. We'll be doing the Alcatraz. I think they got some coffee out here. Get some snacks, drinks, and obviously popcorn. Let's go check out the top top deck. Alcatraz Island, also known as The Rock, is a rocky island in San Francisco, 1.5 miles offshore. This island is famous for many reasons. This was a maximum security federal prison from 1934 to 1963, housing some of the most dangerous criminals in the United States. After 29 years of operation, Alcatraz closed because the institution was too expensive to continue operating. It was nearly three times more expensive to operate than any other federal prison at that time.
1973, Alcatraz was opened to the public and has become one of the most popular park services sites. More than 1 million visitors from around the world visit the island each year. Hi, Ami! Ami! We are in Alcatraz! Ah, this is pretty awesome, guys. What an experience. There is no official Alcatraz tour length. You are welcome to stay as long as you like. Most people will stay for about two to three hours before heading back to the city. The day tour is a self-guided audio tour. You pick a headset and listen as you walk along. You get to hear stories from past guards and prisoners. The day tour covers the main cell house and mess hall. Okay, there's plenty of walking up here, guys. Up hills. So, just come prepared. <laughs> but this is fun. When you do the day tour, you will get to explore parts of the island on your own as you walk up the steep hill to the cell house. Make sure you wear comfortable shoes because this tour requires a lot of walking. You will see the guard family housing, the remnants of the officers club building, the lighthouse and among other buildings. Be sure to pick up a brochure map to get the stories behind these buildings as they are not included in the audio tour. We are not sharing on this video the jail cells inside the Federal Penitentiary Tour because we want you to experience it yourself when you visit.
We are now done with the tour and we are heading back to the city. The question that most people would ask, is this worth it? Yes, absolutely yes. It is worth the visit and the ferry ride is fun with some great city views. Alcatraz has an incredible, amazing setting surrounded by a view that will stop your heart. It has a fascinating history that goes all the way back to the Civil War. Lastly, it offers a self-guided tour with interesting storytelling which you feel like you really were there. A lot of people recommend the night tour because it offers special programs not available on day tours. Now, the caveats. Book ahead of time, especially in the summer months. There's a ton of walking on the island, so wear comfortable shoes. People with mobility issues will have challenges. If you really cannot walk up and down the hill, there's a tram that can take you. But the walk is great. There is no food on the island, so make sure you eat. Bring water with you, and of course, don't forget your camera. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and you find it helpful. We are looking forward to your comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.